All right, everybody, I am in rural Alabama. I'm going to explore some small towns in the area here. Let me show you where I'm at on the map. You can see I'm right here. So you can see New Orleans down here in the corner, Atlanta up here in this corner. Uh, you can see an interstate runs here and one runs up here. I'm going to kind of be up right in here today. And there's quite a few little small towns I'm going to visit. It's going to be interesting. Uh, the first town I'm going to visit is the one I'm in right now. It is called Jackson. So I'm going to pull up a local map and uh, we'll get started. Okay, I'm about to turn on to the main street through Jackson. So I'm going to make a right here. Go into downtown. Uh, today it's a Monday. It's about... 10 o'clock in the morning so I'm just going to begin by driving through downtown I'll tell you a little bit about the city uh, there's about 4,700 people here that's the 2020 census peak population in this town was in 1980 there were 6,100 people here let me pull over here for a second I want to see this theater. See if you can see that. Anyway, uh, the town has been losing population for the past 40 years now. Uh, it's slowly fading away. Like a lot of these small towns that aren't anywhere near a interstate. Let me take a little bit more of a drive through downtown here. Uh, some of the hard numbers. The uh, poverty rate is 30.6%. Um, that's pretty high. The uh, average household in the median household income is 41,900. Per capita income is 23,100. A stat that kind of stuck out for me is the male to female ratio. Uh, females make up 56% of the population, males 44, so uh, <laughs> it's a pretty good place to be if you're a guy, I'm thinking. Uh, I was checking out the home values. U.S. Census in 2020 said the average home was worth 128000 Zillow says in 2022 they're worth 143 400 143,400 so houses have went up pretty good the past two years all right I'm making my way back into downtown the city is named after President Andrew Jackson and uh, there's actually a couple things of historical significance to see here now this is what I wanted to show you I'm actually on the main street of town here so I'm gonna park across the street just zoom in a little but this is the J.P. McKee house. Uh, this is what they call a Lustran house. In 1948, after World War II, the Lustran Corporation built 2,500 prefab homes. Uh, they were made from enamel coated steel. Basically, you would order them and they would arrive on site and they would be assembled. And they were much cheaper than the average home they were designed specifically for GIs who were coming back from World War II so they could afford a home. Uh, most of them were two bedrooms. I think this one is. The uh, company ended up going out of business, but there are still some of these homes scattered around the U.S. Okay, I'm checking out some neighborhoods just on the edge of downtown. Now, I got to tell you guys, usually when you come to these uh, you can see I'm right off the main street here. Usually when you come to these small towns that are losing population, you see a lot of empty homes and homes that are in really bad condition. Uh, just not really seeing it here in this town. A lot of beautiful houses. Uh, you can see <laughs> big ones. Uh, and they're all in really good shape. I've already driven through quite a bit of the town. Yeah, there's another really nice home over there. I got another one across the street. It's it's just 
nice town. I mean, uh, it's a really nice town. Everything's in really good shape. I'm, I'm not gonna say flabbergasted, but I'm surprised to see all these beautiful neighborhoods. I mean, gosh, look at this. In a town with over 30% poverty rate. It just goes to show you that uh, it's subjective. Cost of living here is obviously very low. I mean, if this is representative of the houses here and they run, geez, let me look at my notes. What was the average home price here? 143,000. I mean, in my suburban Dallas community, you're not getting a shack for that. Look at all these uh, houses here. It just looks like this everywhere. Now see, this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's the first one I've seen like that. Nature is uh, taking over here. Kind of a shame because that could be a really nice house. It's pretty good sized. It's bigger than it looks. Huh. Anyway. Okay everyone, I am in Millery, Alabama. Uh, last census there was 450 people here peak population was in 1980 there were 956 people so it's lost over half its population uh, the town I guess you could say is fading pretty fast it's got a low poverty rate though 14.3 that surprised me. Um, here, I'll take a look at some of the neighborhoods here. Just pulling right off. Looks like that is abandoned. It's got a trailer attached to it. Interesting. I'm driving by the high school right now. Looks like the students, well, they're burning something. Looks like brush. Hmm, interesting. It looks like a barn that's seen better days. What do you guys think? How about that? Hmm. Still cruising through the town here. Look at all that. Mm. We got some empty buildings here. I got something to see here. Yeah, look at this. Millery Telephone Company. Wow. That's interesting. Oh, I don't know what's back here. Yeah, I think I better turn around. <laughs> Just want to catch a quick look at uh, this here. There's a caboose, a train caboose here on the street which is Railroad Street. Let's take a quick look at this. There you go. Not sure why it's there. Some sort of memorial I suppose. There's no signage. But there it is. Yeah, look at this. Uh, Millery Area Veterans Memorial. That's beautiful. You got to be impressed with this, and uh, it is an immaculate condition. I'm wondering if these are some of the locals that they have on these steps here. Wow. Yeah, that is that is really amazing. 
that's it here I'm going to head to Silas next well it's a good thing I know how to get to Silas because <laughs> there is no phone service here zero look at that gonna to have to go the old-fashioned way and just simply look at a map anyway Silas is coming up next I am entering downtown Silas right now uh, 2020 there were 377 people here peak population was in 2010 census before uh, there were 529 people so it's been losing people just the past 12 years poverty rates pretty low 12 percent household income uh, is 43,900 we drive up downtown here this is it yeah not a lot happening here US Census says the average home in 2020 cost seventy two thousand three hundred dollars seventy two thousand dollars Zill says right now in 2022 a house will cost, uh, cost you $89,900. That's still under $100,000. Right? Under $100,000 that you could buy a house in this town. Alright, I'm going to enter downtown coming from the other direction. Just to get uh, you a real good look. You see somebody has a home there. Yeah, just uh, just a not just not a lot here. I've got some kind of bar over there. Huh? I mean, at least it's got a bit of a downtown for a town of under four hundred people. Hmm. We'll take a look at a neighborhood or two in this direction. From whence I came. Well, I am on 3rd Street. It's kind of a beautiful look here, isn't it? Just love the way that trees are packed up against the road and it's just not so squeaky clean kind of nice huh. I think I'm dead ending over there yeah look at all this Wow pretty cool and here I am going right back into downtown <laughs> very small town like I said all right here's a closer look at what I'm guessing is the local watering hole all right well I'm going to head to a town called Coffeeville next so that is coming up. I saw this on the road on my way to Coffeeville. It's like an old gas station. Maybe caught on fire. Well, and it's just sitting here slowly rotting away. Uh, rural Alabama Yeah, that's something All right, well back on the road I go all right. I'm a mile out of Coffeeville Just want to show you this cool bridge 
I love bridges. Well, look at here. There's no traffic in front of or behind me, so I can slow down here. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at all that. Wow. See, the fall colors are starting to come in. Yeah, how about that? I'm driving down a road called Old Ferry Road. Uh, it's going to show you the sights. This goes down to that river. And I got a glimpse from the car. Uh, it looked like there's a little bit of a neighborhood down here. So I think we're going to check it out. Yeah, there's a neighborhood here, or at least there's a few homes. Yeah, you can see the river right in front of me. About that. Warning, security cameras in use. Well, check this out. Hey, there's that bridge I was just on. You see that? How cool. Yeah, got a trailer house here, or RV anyway, that someone's living in. But this is catching my eye over here. Catfish for sale. I do love some good fried catfish, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's interesting down here. Got a few people here live in Riverside. Let's see up here, another house, huge porch. That's pretty sweet. Man, it is thick with trees up here though, isn't it? You can see another house there in the trees. Barely see it. Huh. Wow. A couple other residences here. That is old. Wow. Well, Coffeeville is right up here. So let's go take a look. Well, okay, I am about to pull off Old Ferry Road. And there's Coffeeville right there. What do you think? Let's go check it out. All right, I am entering downtown Coffeeville. Now the town is not named after coffee. It is named after a hero of the Creek and Indian War. His name was General John Coffee. Anyway, there's 263 people in this town. Look at the post office. Looks like it caught on fire, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, Peak population of this town was in 1980. There were 448 people here. So it's lost nearly half its population. Average household income here is 25,500. Think about that. That's median household income. That means everybody who lives in a home that is 15 years of age or older, all together, their income is $25,500. Uh, hmm. Average home here runs, according to the U.S. Census in 2020, 82500 Zillow says in 2022, you can get one for 96700 That means you can still buy a house here for one or under 100,000. I mean, that's crazy. 
This is not a house, of course. It's some sort of business that is no longer in operation. But this is a house. And uh, it is getting reclaimed by nature. So this one's abandoned. Yeah, a few more years. Won't be able to see that one anymore at all. Trying to see what the poverty rate was. 24.7. So, pretty high poverty rate here too. In very rural Alabama. Well, we know that is abandoned. It's got a couch inside it still. <laughs> Can you see the couch to the window there? Wow. Quite a few abandoned homes here. This one is as well. Okay, I'm going to head to the next town. It is called Thomasville. So that's coming up next. I'm on the road to Thomasville. You can hear Australian Siri directing me. I, I, wow. That is a massive, massive accumulation of stuff. Am I right? Got a little of everything there, even five or six boats. Wow! Yeah, there's something else up here. Odd, too. Let me show it to you real quick. Got a guy hitchhiking here. I'm not going to pick you up, dude. But there's a car here with its signals on. Emergency signals. And then there is a 7-Up truck. Backed up into this. That is crazy. Looks like maybe it was hijacked. Somebody wanted a bunch of 7-Up. Odd sights here in rural Alabama. All right, I am in Thomasville. I'm entering downtown right now. There's 3,600 people here as of the last census. Peak population was in 2000. There were 4,600 people. So the city has lost 1,000 people over the last 20 years. It looks really nice though. This is a well-kept downtown. Just kind of drive through it a little bit. Show it to you. Uh, poverty rate is 11.3. That's almost exactly the same as the U.S. average. Which means it's pretty good. The city was named after a Union Civil War general named General Samuel Thomas. Look at this cool old theater. Like most of theaters in these small towns, it's dying, but that's too bad. Average household income here is 34,300. That's pretty low. Cost of living's low though, but not as low as in the other towns we just were. Uh, U.S. Census has the average home here worth 158,000 600 in 2020. Realtor says house is going to cost you 194,900 now in September 2022. Uh, that's a lot higher. That's a big jump. So homes of or home values here have risen considerably. Anyway, I'm just going to look around a little bit. 
see what's going on in the town. We've got a little bit of blight here. Uh, general tires. Yeah, a lot of broken out glass. Hmm. All right, yeah, just gonna look around for a little bit. I'm just cruising around some neighborhoods now. Beautiful old house there. Uh, look at this one with the metal roof. It's all rusted. Interesting. Like a lot of these towns, some of the neighborhoods have a very rural feel to them. With all the trees really grown in. Uh, a lot of the homes have quite a bit of space. Big yards, if you will. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, downtown right there. So real close. I mean, just outside of downtown, you're, uh, you're in the country, it seems like. We got some old shotgun houses here. Hmm. Uh, this one's abandoned. And there's got a church here that's really striking. Williams Temple, CME Church. That's a beauty. Anyway, uh, I'm going to head to the next town, and that will be the last town on this little road trip. That is a beauty. Uh, it's called Grove Hill. Grove Hill is a little different, population-wise. Uh, this town is not dying. Let's see, uh, in the year 2000, the population was 1438. Next census, it went up to 1,570. That was 2010. And the last census, it was 1,818, uh, a little over 1,800. So this town is bucking the trend of uh, people moving out. More people moving out than moving in, let's put it that way. You can't really classify this as a dying town. Man, look at this downtown, it's packed with cars. It's Monday now, or yeah, it's around three o'clock now on Monday. I said that earlier, but yeah, it's about three now. It's a nice day. I've had people ask me to tell them the weather. Uh, we're in the last days of October and it is what 72 degrees it's really nice I mean look at the guy wearing shorts it's short weather um, yeah I, I tried to figure out why this town is not losing population like these other Alabama towns in this area honestly I can't figure it out some of the other numbers as I check out some of the houses here. Look at that beauty. That's a business now, okay. It was a house once though. Uh, this one is, this is a house. Anyway, uh, they go up to this stop, so, uh, stop light. The poverty rate 16.8, so uh, that's a little high. Median household income is 49,000. A little higher than these other towns, for sure. In 2020, the U.S. Census says that the average home here was 118,300. Today, Zillow says in 2022, it's going to cost you 134,900. So almost 135,000 dollars for a house now. So that's not bad. Property value is going up. 
Uh, there's something going on in this town. I guess I'm just going to explore a little bit. I believe what's in front of me is the Dickinson house. Straight up here. It's historical. It's on the National Register. So I guess I'll pop up there and take a look at it. Alright, so I am uh, right out in front of this house. It's called the Dickinson house. It's on the National Register. Uh, it was built in 1845. So it's been there for a while. Uh, there's another house over here too, it's quite beautiful. Lots of beautiful homes here. Well, I'm gonna head down Marion Street. See what's here. Is that a jug of bleach in a tree? Looks like I'll be hitting a dead end. Now that one is clearly abandoned, uh, but this one is not. It's pretty nice. Anyway, this is where the road ends, so I guess I better uh, back on out of here. <laughs> I'm just uh, showing you guys everything. Not really going to talk much here. I'm just trying to figure that out. I guess someone lives in there. But it looks like nature's trying to take over. There's some really nice houses here. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. All right, everyone, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, next video will be in the Mississippi Delta. Always interesting. So be looking for that. See you then.